once every uh, three weeks. So I figured we'd have a little chat along the way. See how everybody out there is doing. Making sure that everybody out there is being prepped and ready. You know, there's just a lot of stuff that's going on out here in this world. And we all need to make sure that we're all being ready. Um, I want to talk about hurricane preparedness real quick. And we're going to talk about a few other things too along this trip. The first thing I want to bring up with the hurricane preparedness is make sure that you're not forgetting about any of your animals. And some of the things that you do need for your animals in case you are evacuated and maybe you have to go to a shelter or something. You have to show proof if you go to a shelter on your animals that they've had their shots, that they're all up to date on all any type of you know shots, medicines, and everything else. So you want to make sure that you have all that proof. Now, two ways you can do that: you can have copies of what your animal has had. You know, it could be your cat, dog, anything of you know those type of things. You want to make sure that you have written proof and you want to make sure that these people email it to you so that you have proof on your email in case something happens that the papers that you had got wet, got destroyed, uh, you forgot them at the house. You want to make a, a basically a doggy or a cat go bag. So you put all their supplies in there that they need. You need their, you know, a favorite toy because animals freak out with storms. Some animals are good, but a lot of animals freak out with storms. So you want to make sure, I have to turn the AC here on, folks, because, you know, it's already 81 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. So you want to make sure that you have those things that are ready to go just like you would for yourself you know in those bags you want to have their medicines you want to have their favorite toys treats food you got to make sure that they have water just like you do so I wanted to bring something real quick on that part of the hurricane preparedness because I've been pushing a lot of videos on um, being prepared for hurricanes it is hurricane season, it's supposed to be an above average season and everything else. And I didn't want everybody to go out there and uh, forget about your pets. Because then at the last minute you're trying to scramble to get stuff from the vet, to get medicines, uh, to get the food, and everything else that you need. So if you plan ahead and have a go bag for your animals, it's going to make yourself and your life a lot easier when the time comes for the storm. So another thing I want to talk about is, and I don't know if people have really been paying much attention to what's been going on um, in the skies. There is a great YouTube channel. It's called Sky Watch News. And all this guy does is once a week he puts out a video. Sometimes he puts out more than one, but always once a week on what's taking place in space and what is going on there has been a ton of asteroids small in nature now okay thank god right i mean come on that's the last thing that we need at this point in time in our lives with everything else that's going on but they are hitting the earth they're sneaking in they're not being detected and anything else and if you flip over to that YouTube channel, it's called Skywatch Media News. It is amazing what is going on out there, folks. And this year has been one of the most active years in recording history for the amount of smaller meteorites that have been publishing down to Earth. Just something to be aware of. There's a lot of stuff that's going on out there. And they have come out and said that they're having issues trying to detect either smaller meteorites that are escaping through and hitting the earth and they didn't know anything about it until the last minute. So which tells you folks who want to make sure that you're prepared. There is a good reason to be prepared. Now, if it was a massive meteorite, more than likely, 
a lot of people just aren't going to survive. It's going to be like when the last meteorite that destroyed the dinosaurs hit and pretty much killed off a lot of everything living on this planet because of all the different things that go on. You know, you have the cloud and the dust that is put off, and depending on how big the thing is, you know, and it blocks out the sun, we go into another ice age, you can't grow foods, and all this different type of stuff. So it's just something to pay close attention to. It's a really, really cool YouTube channel that keeps you up to date on the stars and heavens and what's going on. And the guy does a phenomenal job, so check it out. Now, have any of you noticed how the prices of red meat are skyrocketing to almost the point to where most people can't even afford to buy hamburger? Now, the prices of steaks is out of this world. And is this one way that they're trying to use what happened with the um, the hack of JBS meat processing plants to pry and push their new agenda of meats that aren't really meat? <laughs> I mean, that are made from uh, plants, made in a lab, all this different type of stuff. And, and if you don't believe me on this, people go back and watch a couple of my videos what uh, Bill Gates really does have planned for us. Um, it, it's a scary, scary thought on where they want to take our food chain and, and why they want to do this. And it's a multi-billion, trillion dollar business type deal that, you know, about that folks when you drive with idiots down here in Florida it's it's amazing but anyways they have so many plans that they're trying to execute and I did a video on when uh, the whole JPS cyber attack thing took place and there was uh, quite a few comments on my video that was this really true or was this um, perpetrated by either the government or companies in a way that this way here they can try and basically, you know, try to get us to buy into the whole new meat idea. Now, with the prices and stuff of the red meat rising, well, I mean, everybody out there, you, you just, a lot of people can't afford the red meat anymore, so they're all turned into chicken. Pork prices have gone up. Uh, chicken prices have gone up, but it's still the cheapest thing you can buy in the grocery store. And I have noticed at a couple of different stores in my local area, they have all this stuff in there. It's called Beyond Meats. Um, you know, stuff that it's made out of plants and all this, and they've really been pushing them. They've been doing the buy one, get ones on them, and all this different type of stuff because they want us to buy these products. It's another way they're trying to force us without us being, well, without most people really paying attention to what's going on. Because let's just face it, folks, a lot of people are like horses with blinders, and that's just a fact of life. It's not going to change. People aren't going to wise up in anything else until it's too late, and at that point, we're all stuck with whatever they're going to be giving us. One other thing that I want to bring up real quick, this is kind of like a bunch of little things we're just talking about here. Um... In regards to a lot of my, uh, my my live streams, I've got a lot of stuff that's going on in my family right now. Um, a lot of major things. Um, 
and it's been very difficult for me uh, to get the time to do live streams at this point. I really want to do the live streams and stuff. I may start trying to do maybe a quick live stream when I'm at work on my lunch break. We'll have to see how that plays out. Um, but I really apologize to everybody out there. I, I really want to get back into doing the live streams and everything else. There's just so much that is going on. And um, families first. You have to take care of your family. You have to make sure that things are done and make sure that people are being taken care of and everything else. And that's, uh, as a prepper, that's your number one goal. That's the whole reason that you prep. You know, it's not just for food, water, and supplies and things of that nature. You have to make sure that you have a, a good plan to deal with unforeseen situations and things that pop up that are major and that you need to tend to. And sometimes that means you have to take a step back from certain things in your life to take care of your family, if you get what I'm saying. I hope everybody understands that. I hope everybody appreciates the fact that I'm being honest with you. I'm telling you what's going on. And I'm hoping to have my live streams back as soon as possible. I'm going to try to make sure that I, um, I try to turn out some videos. I did have some videos that were banked. Thank God this way here. I don't have to have spent so much of the whole weekend trying to shoot videos, edit videos, and everything else. Because for you people out there that don't really understand what goes into um, making a YouTube video. Yes, you can just make a video and you can throw it out there and, and there's nothing to it. But if you want a good quality video, you want something that you have to go in. You use an editing program. You, you edit stuff and everything else. So it looks good, sounds nice. And I try to turn out, you know, good quality videos. Um, I'm still working on mastering a lot of different things. I'm getting a lot better with a lot of different things. So, you know, it's a work in progress. I just appreciate everybody's patience. Everybody, I really appreciate the support you've been giving my channel. Thank you for everything that you do for my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos. Sharing my videos is probably the biggest thing that can help our channel out. Now I'm slowly growing. I'm pushing almost uh, 1,800 subscribers, which I think is phenomenal. Thank you. And um, I'm shooting for that 2,000. At that 2,000 point, I am going to be giving away a really, really nice prize and a couple of other prizes. And um, I'm hoping that as we go through time here, that we can grow and, and try to shoot for the stars. And we'll head that way. Because I'm a, I'm a firm believer in, if you're going to do something, you put your whole heart and soul into it. You know, it's just like your job. I've been doing my job for 27 years, going on 28. And, you know, it's something that you, yeah, you have bad days and you have good days. But you have to get up with the mindset, folks, that today is going to be a beautiful day. I'm going to make today a great day. Today is going to be the day that I make a difference. And that's what you have to really live by, folks. It's all in your mind. If you wake up in the morning and you sit there and you say you're going to have a bad day, well, you're probably going to have a bad day. If you get up in the morning and say, you know what? No matter what happens today, it's going to be a beautiful day. And today will be a beautiful day. So thank you once again. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I look forward to having these little chats when I do every three weeks my Walmart trip that I gotta drive to because all the Walmarts around me just plain suck as I've stated in some of my videos. So, you all have a great day. You all stay safe. Thrive to survive people because that is the key to being ready. You have to thrive, you have to put
put the time and effort in to making sure that you are prepped and ready for whatever it is, a hurricane, tornado, bad weather, family issues, or anything else, it all rolls into one. It's one big cookie when you're done, folks. And then, when you need to, you can take a small bite out of each cookie. This way here, you can survive the storm. So until next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I will catch all of you on the flip side. Talk to you next time.